Gerund used after prepositions. You should have noted that sometimes gerund is used after prepositions. Take a look at the following example. I talked her out of taking that job. Here, the gerund taking follows the preposition of. Prepositions can follow any word, be it a noun, a pronoun, a verb, or an adjective. In the examples below, the prepositions are underlined followed by the gerunds in bold. A preposition that follows a noun. TV series about growing up are popular among teenagers. I have an interest in becoming an actor. A preposition that follows a pronoun. She forgot him for not telling the truth before. A preposition that follows a verb. My mother is thinking about trying martial arts. She looks forward to meeting her boyfriend. A preposition that follows an adjective. She is afraid of being alone. My mom is scared of flying. Of course, there is one exception, but thankfully, it is easy to remember. The exception, but. But is a short word that connects two clauses of a sentence together. It is called a conjunction. Sometimes, but can also play a role of a preposition. And when but is used as a preposition, it is the same in meaning as except. If but or except are used like this, they need to be followed by an infinitive. Take a look at the following examples. I had no choice but to tell her. I had to tell her. My dad made no stops on the way except to get gas. My dad only stopped to get gas. There is nothing left for me to do but to study hard and take the exam. I only have to study hard to take the exam. You may not see but and except used this way often. Just follow the rule of gerunds after prepositions and you will get it right most of the time. Gerunds and infinitives may be confusing sometimes, but they make your English speech more natural. It is very useful to study them and practice using them correctly. The more you notice gerunds and infinitives in your study of the English language, the easier it will get.